In a significant development, former two-time UFC heavyweight champion Ken Velasquez, who was facing first degree attempted murder, his trial timeline was revealed by judge. Ken Velasquez made headline when he was arrested in May 2022 for allegedly chasing down a vehicle and shots fired at Harry Gaularte Jr. This man Harry Gaularte was accused of molestating Ken Velasquez's five years old son at Daycare Child Center. Deputy District Attorney Robert Philbook reportedly tried to get yes or no answer out of the boy with the help of a sketch of a stick. Ken Velasca Jr. said, Gaulade used his hand to touch him on his penis in a bathroom at Vendor's Daycare. Three days prior to the shooting, Gaulade released on bail but not Ken Velasquez. Ken Velasquez has been denied bail multiple of times due to concern about public safety. Spending nearly eight months in the custody, Ken got bail in November last year. After nearly two years of legal proceeding, the wait for his trial is finally come to the end. Judge Daniel Tinisigya announced that the final trial setting date is scheduled for December 6, with the trial itself expected to commence in January 2024. Former UFC middleweight champion Alex Pohera pranked Glover Tassera in the restaurant. Glover Tassera and Alex Pohera went to the restaurant for the dinner. Alex Pohera handed a white wet towel to Glover Tassera by saying, try this food. Glover Tassera actually tried to take a bite of this towel, causing everyone to start to laugh. <laughs> <laughs> UFC featherweight champion Alexander Volkanovski submit NBA star Jamal Murray within a 60 second. Alexander Volkanovski posted this friendly grappling match on his YouTube channel. <laughs> Uh, I see it coming. <laughs> 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 <That's 30 seconds. laughs> He's lasting over a minute, huh? It's nearly a minute now. Oh, not a minute yet. I was wrong. NBA star Jamal Mure actually survived Alexander Volkanovski's 60 second ground game. Talking about Alexander Volkanovski, he is going to defend his featherweight titles against Ilya Tuporia in January 2024. One of the most anticipated boxing bout between two champions, Alexander Usyk vs Tyson Fury is set for 23rd of December this year in Saudi Arabia. This fight gonna be the historical heavyweight fight, let me tell you why. Tyson Fury has WBC heavyweight title and in other hand, Alexander Usyk have WBA, IBF and IBO heavyweight titles. The winner of this fight gonna be the first undisputed heavyweight champion in four belt era. The targeted date is December 23rd, but this fight may be pushed to next year because Tyson Fury is facing Francis Ngannou on October 28th in Riyadh. The gap between Tyson Fury fight against Alexander Usyk and Francis Ngannou not even two months. It raised question, is Tyson Fury taking Francis Ngannou granted? This morning Tyson Fury tweeted this photo. In other hand, Francis Ngannou tweets. I don't know what's the minimum medical suspension in boxing, but I really don't understand how Tyson can fight in December after what's going to happen on October 28th. Hashtag Fury in Ganu. Please write down below your thought on the comment box down below. Is Tyson Fury is too much confident that he gonna knock out Francis Ngannou in round one? <laughs> <laughs>